Hello my dear friends, Miss Kumud is back again with a new lesson today. Now, these days you must be aware that all people are getting scared of one pandemic disease which is spreading all over the world. It has made a havoc in the life of everyone, right? You know which is that disease? Yes, you are right. It is COVID-19 which is caused by coronavirus. It has made the life of so many people a hell. No, it's a very harmful microorganism. So you have understood which lesson I'm going to talk speak about today? Yes, you are right. We are going to start today with a new lesson. Chapter 8, Useful and Harmful Microbes. Our living world is made up of different kinds of living organisms, right? So they are ranging from, you know, the smallest to the largest okay and they vary in their size shape and even the complexity in the structure so some of them are very small whereas some are very large right so there are even certain organisms which are which are unable to see with our naked eyes so for them we require something called as a micro microscope and they are called as microorganisms Right. So these microorganisms uh, or microbes are present all, or all around us. They are present in the water, in the soil, in air, uh, in the garbage, in the sewage, right, in the food. Everywhere they are found, even in the uh, guts of animals as well as on the plants. So they are everywhere or also called as cosmopolitan in nature. So... But they, uh, we are unable to see them. Why? Because they are so tiny or so uh, small that uh, they, uh, they can be seen only with the help of the microscope. And since they, we can see them with the microscope and microscopic in size, they are also called as microorganisms. So, these microorganisms are uh, various types you have learned earlier in the 8th standard even i have uh, taught you in the previous chapter that microorganisms can be divided into two categories that is they are prokaryotic and some are eukaryotic and uh, prokaryotic may be unicell are unicellular and uh, some eukaryotic are unicellular as well as multicellular so some of the microorganisms you which you are aware by now that they are algae, fungi, protozoa, bacteria and the smallest ones are viruses. So all these microorganisms are found everywhere. Okay, Some of them are useful and some are harmful. Some of the useful bacteria or some of the useful microorganisms are used in making bread or maybe in making curd. Okay, whereas harmful uh, microorganisms can cause diseases in the human beings, right? So, these diseases, uh, you know, cause, uh, uh, are very dangerous sometimes, right? So, some of these microorganisms are causing some of the dangerous diseases. So, uh, let us learn about some of the useful and harmful microorganisms in the next video.